Hey everyone, Pete Werner here with your Diz Daily Fix for Monday, May 14th, 2018. Here is what's happening today. The fire-breathing Maleficent dragon that is uh, a showstopper for the uh, parade in the, ma- the afternoon parade in the Magic Kingdom caught fire on Friday and the internet was a, a buzz or a blaze, I should say, with videos people took watching the parade. I mean, and this thing actually caught fire and melted down on the parade route. A lot of video out there. Uh, I don't think we have any to embed here, but uh, it is available all over the web. We'll make sure we include a link to it and on our Daily Fix main page, which is www.info.com slash Daily Fix. So that was kind of a big deal uh, over the weekend. Um, the other story uh, I want to talk about is the uh, grand opening on uh, Friday of the new Disney style store at Disney Springs. Um, this is uh, this is in the location of the old Harley Davidson building on the west side of, of Disney Springs. And uh, it features, quote, a curated assortment of fashion forward products inspired by beloved Disney attractions at Disney parks and timeless Disney characters. And uh, Stephen Charles went ahead and did a vlog from there. Um, uh, on Friday, and we're showing showing off the stuff. It looks really, really cool. They've got a lot of places in there where you can uh, do selfies. They've got uh, an old teacup uh, from the uh, the tea party attraction. They've got a backdrop of Cinderella Castle. So they've got some cool stuff in there. It really, really looks cool. Um, a, a lot of collections that, that include like the Orange Bird, Big Al, Mr. Toad. Um, and t-shirts saluting classic attractions like the Enchanted Tiki Room and the People Mover, which is awesome, right? Um, uh, The the actual grand opening was 10 a.m. on this past Saturday. The first 500 guests got some kind of special little prize. Um, So that's great. And I I think that it's safe to say, um, personally, I think they have done an amazing job with Disney Springs. Uh, it's incredible. I, I happened to be there a few weeks ago with a friend who hadn't been there in quite a while before all the changes. And he was walking around going, this is amazing. And it really, really is. And I think stores like Disney Style are an awesome addition to this. But I have a rant. Since Disney Springs first opened, I have been asking myself the same question. Where are the things for men. There is plenty for women, from makeup to, you know, and cosmetics to uh, purses to clothes and, you know, really nice, stylish, fashion-forward stuff. And even during the vlog at the Disney Style Store, Steve was saying, yeah, a lot of this stuff is for women. Now, no, not taking anything away from that. That's awesome. However, not all men are knuckle-dragging mouth-breathers who dress like enlightened hill people. Some of us, gay and straight, actually take a little pride in our appearance. Yet, we can't find much of anything at Disney Springs because it's all for women. So, you know, Disney, can you help a brother out here? A shirt, maybe? That doesn't have a mouse, a duck, or a dog on it? And, and while we're at it, let's talk about Dooney and Burke. Some absolutely gorgeous bags. Gorgeous. Stunning. All for women. Man bags are a thing. I know because I have a closet full of them. I also know because Fossil sells them, Coach sells them, Louis Vuitton sells them, Gucci, Prada, you name it. Every designer in existence makes man bags, except the ones being sold at the Disney parks. So when I go in and I see this Dooney and Bork bag that has this Haunted Mansion pattern on it, which I'm a huge Haunted Mansion fan, I'm like, well, I would love to buy that, but I don't want people walking up to me and saying, that's a lovely purse, Mrs. Werner. So why can't you put a little more effort into stuff for men? There are very, very, very few locations at Disney Springs that that's true. 
and there need to be more. So I think we should all tweet at Disney Parks on Twitter with the hashtag not a hill person asking them to please, please focus a little more on men. Not taking anything away from the women, but some of us would like to shop there as well and not feel like we're drag queens. I'm done. Don't send me any emails. I'm having fun. But on a much more positive note, um, one of the best parts of my job, um, I you know, uh, if you spend any time watching our shows or being on the Diz, you know I have an amazing staff of people that work with me here, and I'm very proud of all of them. Uh, but it's a, an especially great part of my job when I get to promote them. And I was able to do that last week with two members of our team. So I want to just give a shout out to Jackie Gailey, uh, who has uh, been promoted to our senior, our senior content director. And that means she's going to have responsibility for overseeing all the content that goes up across our sites which, and, and social media, which is no small job. And uh, to Charles Boda, who has been named our new senior editor. And Charles is, Charles is going to have responsibility overseeing all the news and articles from both our staff and from our contributors that go up on the site. These are two really well-earned promotions, these guys. Well, they all work really hard, but Charles and Jackie have just been amazing. So please join me in congratulating Jackie Gailey and Charles Boda on their promotions. And with that, over on the Diz today, um, we have a featured article uh, from uh, contributor Kimberly Ringleave. Uh, entitled uh, Disney Fantasy Sit-Down Dining, A Beginner's Tale. And uh, we are doing so, we, we are launching something new this week. Uh, in addition to our featured contributor articles, starting this week, we're going to start a series of regular columns focused on all aspects of Disney from the point of view of our staff writers and editors. Um, it's going to start off this Wednesday with Jackie Gailey's Spoonful of Pixie Dust, that's going to be her column, because Miss Jackie is just farting pixie dust. She's very much that happy-go-lucky, loves Disney, everything is magical person, which is really fun when you're around her at 6 o'clock in the morning. Um, and as Charles wrote, uh, this is where our resident optimist doles out a much-needed dose of Disney magic to lighten your work week. Uh, we'll have a new monthly staff column each week, uh, each Wednesday, uh, with more to be added in the coming months. So make sure to check out A Spoonful of Pixie Dust coming up this Wednesday on WDWinfo.com. Now, over on the boards today, a thread is trending, uh, uh, started by the Rusty Scupper, entitled Revamp of Whispering Canyon Begins. Uh, in the thread, posters are discussing changes being made uh, to the way the restaurant operates. If you're not familiar with Whispering Canyon, this is a restaurant in the lobby of uh, the Wilderness Lodge Resort, and it's been, uh, you know, well known. I mean, the food is okay, but what really kind of made this restaurant was the servers were kind of zany, and you know, there was a lot of interaction with the guests and a lot of joking around. So, like for example, when you asked for ketchup, they would go around and collect all the ketchup from all the tables in the restaurant and bring you all the bottles of ketchup. It was, you know, fun stuff like that. But apparently Disney is changing that and that's going away and folks are weighing in on this thread and they are not happy about the changes. So head over to the Disney Restaurants Forum on disboards.com and weigh in with your thoughts and check out what folks are saying. And finally, if you're in the parks, uh, going into the parks tomorrow, uh, I'm sorry you're here this week because the weather is going to be nasty. Uh, we have thunderstorms tomorrow with a high of 83 and a low of 71. Out in Anaheim, a little bit nicer, part, partly cloudy with a high of 73 and a low of 55. As always, you can find links to all these stories and more on our Daily Fix main page at www.info.com slash Daily Fix. That'll do it for me today. Join us again tomorrow for the next installment of the Diz Daily Fix. Have a great week, everybody.